Okay, Jay Myers from uh, Colfax, North Dakota. Jay, tell us about the nutrient compass a little bit. Uh, we started using it three years ago. This is our third season this year. Uh, they had some test product out three years ago. We just did one strip that year and uh, sprayed one pass and the boom was all we had enough for down the field. Had 30% hail damage on that field that year. And, but you could see where we sprayed it, it was a lot darker green. And uh, we ended up with about a four bushel, I think, increase in yield that year. And uh, so that got us a little curious, you know, about the product. And last year it was widely available. And we thought, well, let's, you know, use it on a few more acres. So we bought it up for a couple of quarters last year. And then we split two quarters last year and uh, did some on corn and some on soybeans. On corn, we've seen uh, a little over 15 bushel where we blocked off 20 acres where we sprayed it and 20 acres without. <clears throat> and then we did another test on a quarter section of soybeans where we did half of it with and half without. And we've seen five and a half bushel increase there. And we've, we've got a picture of the yield map over here on the wall uh, that actually shows what we got last year of that product. Why don't you go ahead and show us that. Uh, this is actually a 2020 yield map um, that we had in our combine. And we also have a Case IH monitor in that combine. And the Case IH monitor can do a few more things than what the 2020 monitor can do. We can actually take and block, <coughs> we can block off or put this in a block and it'll tell us on the Case IH monitor what this side yields. And we can block this off and it'll tell what this side yields. And uh, <coughs> the 2020 has got a little bit better graphics so we can actually see the yield difference on here. So we've used the 2020 yield map to show the difference, uh, but we did the actual calculation with the Case IH yield monitor. And uh, it was 5.5 .5 bushel difference uh, that we seen last year. Okay. So, uh, with those results, uh, our plan is to use it on all of our acres this year. Uh, tell us a little bit about the product. Uh, it's a product that Kip developed, and he's actually talking about it right now in the shop. And uh, something he's been working on on his farm and down in Brazil for the last uh, four or five years. And it's just a foliar product that goes on over the top of most crops and uh, has some growth promoting agents in it along with a full package of NPK and micros. Mm -hmm. and uh, real easy to use, one to two quart rate, and uh, you can put it right in with a lot of chemicals. So it's uh, going to be a product, I think, that's going to be good for our lineup. You bet. Very good. Thanks, Jay. You bet.